What's up everyone? We're in the 307 shop right now. Today is a great day. We just picked up the 2022 Expert 165 Turbo. I uh, was going to do a picking it up video, but TNT was slammed today, so we're just going to do a build video on it. A uh, ton of parts. We're going to go through kind of time lapse, putting it all on, and then go through all the different pieces I decided to put onto it this year. And um, a couple little helpful tips and tricks for you guys. So hope you enjoy. got the 2022 ski -Doo turbo expert 165 xyz all finished being built today except for a couple minor things so i hope you guys are excited i'm super excited about how it looks spent the last year one paying for it and two figuring out what i wanted to do and it is exactly how i want it so here we are guys 2022 ski -Doo expert Turbo 165. Aside from the obvious, which is the beautiful Arctic FX wrap with all the detail, King QB, and then our sponsors for the year, my diesel shop, 307 Diesel Performance, Full Send Diesel, which is my brother. He's not really sponsoring it. I just stuck his name on here. And then TNT Motorsports, who is actually sponsoring this. They, uh, are awesome people to deal with here in Laramie, Wyoming. So if you guys are in the area, needing parts, needing service, any of that type of stuff, definitely hit them up. So up front here, uh, we're running the stock shocks for now. Shocks are one of the things that I wanted to upgrade this year and just didn't really have the money to spend. So we'll see how the season goes. I might end up throwing Zebro's exits on there at some point, but we have the full ski do skid plate underneath here. The ski -Doo Adventure front bumper, uh, skis are left all stock, LED headlights inside here, I, mainly because I just like the way they look, I think it looks cleaner. Um, the dash kit from ski -Doo, which is pretty nice, I got lucky and got the new gauge with my sled. So it gives you a little bit of storage in here, it's not too bad, it does have the cutout for your cigarette lighter. Extreme air vents on both vents and then the extreme air vent at a vent right here. Uh, those I swear by and live by because I've been known to run into stuff. So um, I did put these over the factory frog skin. It worked pretty well for me last year. So did it again. And then I also have the extreme air vent for here when this breaks. But I'm going to wait till that one breaks. So I... Found a guy on Sledders that had a set of Octane Blue hand guards instead of the black ones, so we went with those. The Skins bag, handlebar bag, it's a universal bag. It fits decent on the Ski-Doo. I'm gonna try it 
kind of see how I like it. And then obviously if I hate it, we'll just take it off. But I've been trying some different storage stuff and we're gonna give it a shot. The other big change on the handlebars is the Munster finger throttle for this year and finger throttle guard. I hear all these people swearing by the finger throttle and specifically the Munster finger throttle. So I figured it would be a good time for me to try it out. So far, just from sitting on it, feeling it, I actually really like it. And uh, I think it's gonna be a welcome addition to the sled, but there will be more to come on the Munster finger throttle. So we pop the cover here or panel we've got the slp can attached up in here this is actually kind of a pain to install do these metal brackets on the bottom especially with the skid plate but we got it on there so we're going to try that out it does not work with the hps can bag that sits right here um i ordered one of those expecting it to fit and it did not fit so that is a good piece of information for you guys. So, put this back up. Moving on down the sled, I do have a Zebro's rail brace and a Zebro's T-Motion lockout, but it is like 8.30 at night. I gotta edit this video, get all my gear set up for the year, and go to sleep to go riding tomorrow. So, didn't get the time to put it on. But, I do have a rail brace and T-Motion lockout. And then the Adventure rear bumper. Um, this is another thing that I would not ride without because you see all these people, especially on sledders and the other Facebook groups, bending tunnels. That's because there's no rail brace support in the stock uh, bumpers. So this is a full rail brace covering the full length of the rail. Um, definitely something you wanna add to your sled and then another thing I'm trying out this year is this little box here. Um, I don't know how it's gonna work or if it's gonna work at all, but it's a little bit more storage. Um, put your toolkit in there and stuff like that. I will let you guys know on this as well. This is another new thing I'm trying. I've been, kind of my thought was basically to try to eliminate the tunnel bag if possible but it looks like I'm probably gonna have to run my BCA uh, Mountain Pro bag on the back here, but that's not a big deal. Um, just trying different things, it's part of life. So that is what we have upgraded and modified on the Summit so far this year. Like I said, I would like to do shocks and then I would like to do a belt drive from TKI. So we'll see kind of how the season goes, how the shop goes, we're in my shop right now but we'll see how everything goes and if it goes pretty well i think we're going to end up doing a bell drive shocks and um maybe clutching as well but this is the 2022 ski -Doo summit expert turbo 165 build for the year my first brand new sled and my first sled build so super excited about it guys I am going riding tomorrow, so expect a riding video very soon for the first ride of the year at the Snowy Range. Till next time, guys, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.